distribution of population India has a highly uneven pattern of population distribution the percentage shares of population of the states and union territories in the country show that Uttar Pradesh has the highest population followed by Maharashtra Bihar and West Bengal density of population map Uttar Pradesh Maharashtra Bihar West Bengal Andhra Pradesh along with Tamil Nadu Madhya Pradesh Rajasthan Karnataka and Gujarat together account for about 76% of the total population of the country on the other hand share of population is very small in the states like Jammu and Kashmir 1.04% Arunachal Pradesh 0.11% and Uttarakhand 0.84% in spite of these states having fairly large geographical area such an uneven spatial distribution of population in india suggests a close relationship between population and physical socio economic and historical factors as far as the physical factors are concerned it is clear that climate along with terrain and availability of water largely determines the pattern of the population distribution consequently we observed that the north indian plains deltas and coastal plains have higher proportion of population than the interior districts of southern and central indian states himalayas some of the northeastern and western states however development of irrigation rajasthan availability of mineral and energy resources Jharkhand and development of transport network peninsular states have resulted in moderate to high concentration of population in areas which previously very thinly populated among the socio economic and historical factors of distribution of population important ones are evolution of settled agriculture and agricultural development pattern of human settlement development of transport network industrialization and urbanization it is observed that the regions falling in the river plains and coastal areas of india have remained the regions of larger population concentration even though the uses of natural resources like land and water in these regions have shown the sign of degradation the concentration of population remains high because of an early history of human settlement and development of transport network on the other hand the urban regions of delhi mumbai kolkata bangalore pune ahmedabad chennai and jaipur have high concentration of population due to industrial development and urbanization drawing a large numbers of rural urban migrants rural and urban composition composition of population by their respective places of residence is an important indicator of social and economic characteristics this becomes even more significant for a country where about 68.8% of its population lives in village 2011 india has 6,40,867 villages according to the census 2011 out of which 5,97,608 93.2% are inhabited villages however the distribution of rural population is not uniform throughout the country the states like bihar and sikkim have very high percentage of rural population the states of goa and maharashtra have only little over half of their total population residing in villages the union territories on the other hand have smaller proportion of rural population except dadra and nagar haveli 53.38% the size of villages also varies considerably it is less than 200 persons in the hill states of northeastern india western rajasthan and run of kutch and as high as 17000 persons in the states of kerala and in parts of maharashtra a thorough examination of the pattern 
of distribution of rural population of India reveals that both at intrastate and interstate levels, the relative degree of urbanization and extent of rural urban migration regulate the concentration of rural population. The proportion of urban population, 31.16% in India, is quite low, but it is showing a much faster rate of growth over the decades. The growth rate of urban population has accelerated due to enhanced economic development and improvement in health and hygienic conditions. The distribution of urban population too, as in the case of total population, has a wide variation throughout the country. In almost all the states and union territories, there has been a considerable increase of urban population. This indicates both development of urban areas in terms of socio-economic conditions and an increased rural-urban migration. The rural-urban migration is conspicuous in the case of urban areas along the main road links and railroads in the North Indian Plains, the industrial areas around Kolkata, Mumbai, Bengaluru Mysuru, Madurai Koyambatore, Ahmedabad Surat, Delhi Kanpur and Ludhiana Jalandhar. In the agriculturally stagnant parts of the middle and lower Ganga plains, Telangana, non-irrigated western Rajasthan, remote hilly tribal areas of northeast, along the flood-prone areas of peninsular India and along eastern part of Madhya Pradesh, the degree of urbanization has remained low. Sex composition Sex ratio means the proportion of males and females in the total population. It is defined as the number of females per thousand males in the population. In India, sex ratio is 940, which implies that there are 940 females per thousand males. This figure suggests that sex ratio is not favourable to females. This unfavourable sex ratio is due to female infanticide, female feticide, preference given to boys, lack of healthcare facilities for women, etc. If the sex ratio of a country is 1000, it suggests that total number of males and females in that country is equal, which is a good situation as far as the growth rate is concerned.